Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get real-time stock data using the IEX Finance Python wrapper and also putting it into a Pandas data frame. So before we begin, I would suggest signing up for an account on this website right here. Um, I'll link it in the description. This way you can get your API key. Um, so let's begin by creating a new project with a new environment. So let me scroll down to my folder where we're, we're going to be storing this. Okay. All right, sorry about that. It took a little long, so um, I just fast forwarded that process. But we're going to be creating a new Python file here. You can name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. And the first step before we even begin is going to be getting our um, our wrapper installed by using pip so we're gonna do pip install pandas Okay, so then after that has successfully installed, you're also going to do pip install IEX finance. And now this isn't directly supported by um, IEX finance cloud. However, somebody did make a Python wrapper for this, um, which I'll also link the GitHub repo in the description. Okay, so once both are installed, um, you can import pandas as PD into your file and then also you can do import IEX finance dot stocks um, import get sorry about that get historical we'll do historical data so from the IEX website once you sign up um, it should prompt you on your home page an API key if it doesn't you can just scroll down to uh, API tokens and then just copy and paste this and go back to your file and input it there sorry about that um, so then label as API key or whatever it doesn't really matter too much um, but then from there we're gonna start our first um, API request so we're gonna do DF um, equals get historical data and then it takes in a couple parameters so first one is going to be the stock ticker I'll start with Microsoft and it also wants to know what kind of output format you want to put it in so we're gonna choose it as pandas I have to put it in quotes and also you have to input your API token so just token equals API key and then if we run it now let's do df.head so it doesn't print the entire I have to add our configuration one second guys alright so it should be automatically in there Oh, okay. So also, when you do get historical data, it wants to know what specific date. I thought by default it would choose the um, closest market trading date. So since that didn't work, we'll just do import date time and do start equals date time dot date and then just put in you know whatever date you I guess want to test it out at and you could change it at any time so we'll do start equals start and then it should run now invalid off token alright so I think we're having an issue with this so if we just make a new public token actually on the IEX website now it should work 
Oh, wait, there was a space in the token. I think that's why I was messed up. Um, okay, that was not what I was expecting. Okay, so I'm back. So I realized that the date that I was inputting was not on a weekday or it fell on a holiday. So that's why I wasn't getting the information. So I put in a new date um, on a day that I knew the uh, the either New York Stock Exchange or you know one of the American exchanges was trading um, and that fixed the issue so now when you run it you'll just get the information for that date um, so say if you wanted information for every minute or so during this day um, and also live information and you refresh it say you know every minute that passes so if you want to do that all you would have to do is do instead of get historical data it'd be intraday and then change this here and then you could just take out this start parameter because by default it will print the most recent day so it's gonna post 7-2 because that was the last day that um, the stock market was open so while this is great you could see that it's printing in kind of reverse order you wouldn't want your you know oldest dates first so the way to get around that is to just re-index it by doing df equals df dot re-index and then pass in index equals df equals uh, equals df dot index and then that um, you know I don't know a lot about how this actually works but it just flips the data frame um, so that it'll be showing you know the last inputs first so it's showing you um, four o'clock on July 2nd um, 2020 and that is going to be the most recent stock data that you get because the exchange closed at that time okay so also IEX finance has a couple of other features that you could do so you could get information regarding certain companies so if we just import now stock and um, comment out this part right here if we do say stock equals stock and then input the ticker that you want and then you have to pass in that API token again Sorry about that. Typing too fast. Um, and then you also have to do stock dot get underscore company. So if you print this out now, um, it will give you information regarding the company in a dictionary format. So if you did a, and then you passed in say, you know, description it will now give you a description about the company um, and you know this is somewhat helpful but um, I guess it's good to compile a lot of information because if you see here it also gives you things about you know the CEO you know what type of industry they are so say if you want to build a website about different stocks and you wanted information on what industry they're in and, you know where they're located and you know what country and everything like that um, you can get that information really easily using this API and then um, you know passing in the certain parameters that you want so I hope this was helpful I know some other issues with this is that a uh, um, IEX has a premium version and some of the features that are on this um, Python wrapper are only available to the premium features so I think like social sentiment I know there's like a get balance sheet and those items I think are only available to the premium so I think as an individual you have to pay about ten dollars a month which you know isn't too bad for an API key but um like I said you could get the standard stock data and you get a certain amount of API requests a month um, so I hope this was helpful. If you have any info, you know, any questions, um, just leave a comment down below. I'm sure I could try to help you out. If not, you know, I'm sure somebody else in the comments will. Uh, but thank you very much.
And if you have any suggestions on what video I should make next, um, just comment it down below. Thank you.